All right. We never have guests on this show. Never. <laughs> we never have guests on this show. I'm not a guest. I'm a friend. You're a friend. Yes. And Bert Kreischer uh, is in town, and he's got some shows to tell you about. And we're going to push those shows. But uh, Bert Kreischer, number one, the only uh, comedian who ever stripped fully nude in front of me. I'd do it again today. I look so good right now. Uh, you, you looked pretty good back then. I, I didn't want better. to admit it to I'm, myself. I'm, look, but I'm spray tanning now, so I look so good naked. Oh, well, listen, perhaps after the, after we're done, maybe. Yeah, me and you, we'll go find a closet. And... Yeah, we'll steal away. Yeah. <laughs> we'll steal away, and we'll, and we'll, have, we'll, we'll have a moment. Also, the l last time I talked to you, you were a bankable comic. You came through town a lot. You were like a, a club comic and some other things. I don't know, Bert. I must have looked the other way for a couple of years. I don't know what happened. I look up, you're playing arenas, stadiums. What the hell happened? I don't know. I think <laughs> podcasting. Yeah. I think podcasting changed my life. I think uh, Netflix changed my life. Uh, a lot of things. I think I was always a good comic. I also think I found my voice. I think I, back then, and you'll probably attest to this, <clears throat> I was always trying to be like edgy. Mm -hmm. And I think that wasn't my voice. And I remember Liam was sitting right there, but she used to be like, you're smarter than that. And then when I started talking about my family and more personal stuff and storytelling and the machine story changed my life too. I think that's when I found my voice. And then and then I I I had that Netflix special Secret Time that really popped. And then all the specials have done very well and and podcasting. I got I was an early adapter to podcasting, doing Rogan, you know what, fifteen years ago? Which is I mean, now you guys it's like saying I invested in CNN in the 80s. Yeah, I bought Apple in 2000. God. <laughs> yeah. This guy's the best thing that ever happened to me. How is it, uh, how, uh, jumping from 250 people in a room, 300 people in a room, to an arena where there's like, I, 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 for a comedy situation, is it 13,000, 14,000, 15,000 people yeah. in a room? Uh, what's, how do you, was that difficult to make the transition to touch people in the back row? Uh, the way you could at a club where you is there a difference like yeah. how do you what did you have to go through to say hey this is a little bit different or it's maybe it's still you just, different yeah. it's still different when i do clubs it has to be organic and of the moment the con a club you cannot present them something so they feel like it's a ted talk in an arena i remember when i first did theaters that move to theaters was difficult tommy called me up and he was like he was like yo if you have an hour it's going to be 35 minutes because it's different there and so adver adversely, you end up writing way more material to do an arena. You go to a club, and what your hour in arena is, is an hour 45 easy in a club. But um, I enjoy, I know you're not supposed to say this, but I enjoy arenas. I love them. Why aren't you supposed to say it? Uh, why, because why most comics go, that's not real comedy. You know, oh, there's 18,000 people. How are they supposed to all get it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but I love it. I think it's fun. I think it's it's a different it's different than a comedy club. Comedy clubs are still awesome, but uh, the arena experience for me is just, I mean, it's, it's it's emotional, it really is. When you get that many people in a room, all like my and you, you know they're not friends. That's the other crazy yeah. thing is like, they're just like fans. It's so fun, and then you got the big screens on the side. So adversely, another little. I mean, I'm getting in the weeds on this, but when you, right. do, when you do arenas, you really are doing a Netflix special because they're watching the screen. So small movements play very big in an arena. You would think the opposite. And big movements play very big in a club because you're on a small stage. So, uh, yeah, I've been on an arena tour for two years. And uh, and then the show we're doing uh, is a theater in Hiawassee and then in Macon we're at their new amphitheater. I love amphitheater shows. That's uh, Wednesday? Yep, Wednesday in Macon, Georgia. Uh, if you're in Atlanta, come out. Drink with us Wednesday night. See the sunset. Have a, have a cold beer. The best comics in the world are with me. Big Jokes and Dan Soder, Mark Norman, David Tell. I mean, just to name four casual names. Right. And then we have a huge surprise. There's a huge surprise. Yeah. Well, tell us. What I is it? I Come can't. on. <laughs> I can't. He wants to say it. He's it's Cat Williams, sir. <laughs> Dude, I ran into I met Cat Williams. So Cat Williams does. Uh, I heard you say that you thought he was talking about you when uh, he said the absolutely. Joe Rogan six or whatever. I wasn't talking about him, sir. He, he, he said there's four comics that go on Rogan that just aren't funny. And I was like, that's me, Tom and Arian, Shane Gillis. And I know that. And, and <laughs> then I met Cat Williams at uh, Ted Sarandos' house. And uh, I was like, oh, this is going to be bad. And he was in like a he was in like a like a mask he had like a mask on, 
I don't know. COVID? A COVID mask? No, 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 no. Like a like a wrestling a, mask? No. Yeah, more like a wrestling. It was a bedazzled, looked like a scuba hood. <laughs> And I was like, and he came up to me, and I was like, oh, God, here we go. And he's like, Burt Kreischer, you do it. Burt Kreischer. Burt Kreischer. You're a rock star. You're a rock star, I've bitch. Been <laughs> I've been trying to take my shirt off for years. They won't let me do it. <laughs> I've been trying to take my shirt off for years, and they won't let me do it. I can't even perform in a vest. And I was like, I go, you know who I am? He's like, you're hilarious. And I was like, I was like can I text that? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, yeah he's awesome. 